What is up guys, Control here, and today's video is going to be on a very interesting and unique deck. Brought to me actually by a Twitch viewer by the name of E. Neymar. So shout out to him. Really, really cool list and one that actually looks like complete garbage at uh, at first look. I, I feel like I say that about a lot of decks that I play, but I, I think the thing is you can actually make a lot of stuff work in Runeterra if you just have a good understanding of what your deck's going to do and why exactly it's good. In this case, this list, and we'll just start at the top. Um, actually, it's probably not a good idea for this one because it's very unique. So with this list, what you're basically looking to do is utilize uh, Insightful Investigator's effect to cycle through your deck very quickly, you know, get all the draws that you want. And to do that, you run a ton of two mana spells. So, you know, you can just look at them really quick. They look kind of weird. You got like Trail of Evidence, the Sunworks map, which you might not usually think are that great. But in this list, they kind of are. Your main win conditions are going to be Assembly Bots and Vi. So what you would do with either of those is uh, just Sunworks map them and have them pop off. Which is very, very good in a lot of matchups right now. I think the only ones that you're really going to have issue with this exact wink on is against uh, the elusive aggro deck that I posted yesterday and against Heimer Vi sometimes. That would be about it. Uh, you're not going to have a great time against Heimer regardless, so Heimer Vi is just going to clap you, I think. But other than that, this deck actually does quite well into uh, most of the metagames, so I think it's actually a pretty good choice. So effectively, this deck is very, very similar to um, like a Miracle Rogue deck from Hearthstone, if you guys know that. Uh, you could think of like Insightful Investigator as like your Gadget Sand Auctioneer or, and, sorry, and the Assembly Bot as um, your Questing Adventure. Basically, you start uh, with the deck without having too, too much for your early game. You just have like Jerry Ray Grummage, um, which you usually don't play very early anyways. They're there for, uh, you know, cycle a little bit later and Jerry Ray just is a very good discard target. Then have Eye of the Dragon, which is um, your first early game minion. Very good. Uh, it does give you a tune as well, so you don't feel that bad losing the spell mana, which is nice. Especially considering you're going to pass on one, then two, you play Eye of the Dragon, and you have enough spell mana to like play Mystic Shot, for example. Pretty good. Uh, Mystic Shot is pretty straightforward. Retreat is also quite straightforward. Very good in this deck. It just helps you protect your cards. You can uh, you know, play Retreat on something and then return into play Assembly Bot or Shadow Assassin uh, for one spell mana instead of three straight up mana, which is really good. You also can use Retreat, again, on the bigger units, uh, like Insightful Investigator Protector, which is pretty sweet. Subworks map, we touched on this a little bit. It is a mean uh, way you win with this list. It's also very good because it does just cycle with Insightful Investigator. Again, you'll usually just strap that on the assembly bot, uh, you know, get him big and make it so your opponent can't interact with him. Or just the Vi, uh, because when she is leveled, she kind of does 10 damage, and if you strike, she does 15, which is pretty sweet. Uh, just definitely very, very good if your opponent can't go ahead and uh, do anything about that, which is nice. The Trail of Edens, this one is kind of weird, but it actually can help you win a lot of games just by giving you random stuff. Turns out sometimes uh, random cards give you outs that you wouldn't have otherwise. So, very good for that reason. Assembly Bot, again, touched on this. This card looks like it's straight garbage, uh, but it actually does pop off in this deck. And it is one that works quite, quite well. Uh, next up, get excited. I mean, this is just like a one-off card. Uh, it's just good removal, right? Dealing three is sweet. It could definitely be cut from the list. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of room to improve this, I think, and, and fix it up a little bit. Um, I actually didn't touch the list that E. Neymar was playing. I kind of just took his deck and played it for two hours. And, uh, you know, I felt like it was pretty good. Definitely could use some improvements, but I feel like the overall gist of the deck is good. And, uh, you know, I mean, you could basically say that about any deck at any time because you can always tech it towards what the, the local meta game is, right? So that would be something to keep in mind. But, I mean, as a general kind of take on the list, I would say this is a pretty good starting point. Good Shadow Assassins, again, pretty straightforward, just good card draw and, uh, you know, good Lucid Blockers to get those Teemos out of the way, for example. Then Gotcha, this is one that feels really bad when you draw it uh, early, but if you draw it uh, off of, like, the Insightful Investigator's Fleeting Effect, it is really good. Also, when you do top deck it, it is going to be 2 mana as well, which will also work with Insightful Investigator. So overall, definitely a card that's good. I like it as a 2 of. Uh, I think it's pretty strong, just decent removal. And, I mean, when it's 2, it is insane. When it's 4, kind of feels bad. That's about it. Investigator, again, the Gadget and Auctioneer, this deck, the draw engine, the reason why the list works. Pop-off card, she's great, keep her a lot. Uh, Will of Ionia is a two of. Uh, again, I mean, I really, I feel like I'm playing Ionia a lot, but this this card is just bonkers. Not much more to say, it's nuts. Very good. Deep Meditation, uh, you know, another bonkers card. We're not playing it with Heimer, so we don't get the uh, elusive turrets, but still a very good card in a deck that wants to draw a lot. And uh, a deck that wants to play a lot of spells to buff up the assembly bot. Super, super good. Definitely would uh, recommend that as a three of. And Vi is the top end. Pretty self-explanatory. Just another hero to help you win the game. If you wanted to run more champions, 
you definitely could. Uh, again, like the Get Excited is a card you could cut. Uh, maybe even Shadow Assassins you could get rid of. But um, overall, I'd say the deck is relatively well made. Could be optimized a little bit further, but it is uh, a list that I would say you guys should give a spin. It's very fun and uh, and one that it isn't really very much so matched by other Runeterra decks because of the amount of cards you draw. You really just don't see that in Runeterra decks. Uh, you know, it's one of the card games where I, I feel like at least card draw is kind of uh, low. I mean, there's, there's decks with uh, with tossing that kind of uh, make it so you, f- you feel like you draw your whole deck. Uh, but this is one of the decks that you really do just like draw and draw and draw and draw. And it feels really fun to play. Enjoy the gameplay. I hope you guys find the list interesting. Smash that like button and leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see played next. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Okay. So some they who endure stuff. Uh, I think Dragon's like okay. It does stuff against the spiders early. It's like a chump blocker and Dragon Link's good for like just getting your health back up. Uh, I think Shadow Assassin is also kind of fine. It's not like ideal though. It's just like a three. Just unit hand. That's fine. Um, you can't recall the Vine with the return because um, the Vi's cost is too high, and also if you recall a buffed unit um, with return, the Vi is going to get re- uh, reset, right? So she's still going to be a two attack unit. So I think uh, I don't necessarily agree with you. Get where you're coming from, but I don't think it's really the um, the way that you would win that. I don't really think it's got excited. Should have probably killed the spider, that's my bad. I'm uh, getting lazy. Definitely not good. Uh, GG, man. GG. Let's just see what else he plays here, ideally, before I, uh, I commit anything, like the investigator. I don't think playing spells to just get Dragonlings is really going to matter that much because these just have um, Fearsome anyways. So it's probably just going to have to be get excited next round and, uh, you know, deny the Vi. Or delay the Vi, sorry. If he takes an action and plays something, Vi will then be fine to play, I think. But otherwise, if he just opens like this, it's just going to have to be get excited. I could also just take it in this case. It's not that bad. That's, uh, that should be fine for us, actually. I don't think it's really too crazy of an amount of damage. I think he's actually, like, really expecting me to block there, so I kind of like it that we, uh, we decided not to. Sure. Uh, congrats on Masters, man. Congrats on Masters. That's awesome. Definitely a sweet achievement. So you can uh, play a bunch of spells, level the Vi here if you want. I think we do want to do. Yes, of it's a weird one. Uh, sure. Gives him cards. I think I'm okay with that though. Problem is, like, we also kind of want to kill these, so you can't just challenge stuff and make it so all of our um, our small things can't block. What's that? Mystic. Mystic is almost good enough here, but not quite, unfortunately. Second Vi, okay. So I'd have to play two more cards. The Vi is fleeting, so I can rummage the Vi away, and probably the... Rummage? This would be the Shadow Assassin, too. That maybe feels better. Somebody bots a little bit late. So we can do that, just mystic his face. That should be good. I think challenging stuff here is just bad. Also, this puts him at 5, which means mystic plus get excited could technically be lethal. Um, that being said, it usually won't work, I think. 
Could wait until next turn, maybe uh, you know he commits um, commits mana here to um, to do some damage, and then uh, you know he uh, he decides not to utilize that to um, to let, allow himself to draw or something. We also have meditation too, so I mean we have ways to look for uh, for more cards like Mystic or Get Excited as well. I think that's that's it for the Get Excited, but we have another Mystic probably. Yeah. Okay, piggy pig. So he has three spiders to yoink the big stuff, I guess. And then Kalissa's almost leveled. Do you know what I think he'd want to like have one more thing die here? Could play the Vi on the Vi. Um yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, you're right. Because she would then uh, gain 10 attack, yeah. True. That was probably a better line. Uh, I should do the life skill last, my friends. I definitely respect the hustle, but I think that he's going about it a little bit uh a little bit incorrectly, I would say. So this gotcha is still two. So we can uh, gotcha the Kalissa that'll be leveled though, so that doesn't work. Uh, so let's just gotcha this then. This Kalissa's leveled, it's a 5-1, it's a 4-1. Like, why I'm doing stuff like this is I just want to see like what else he commits here. Because if he spends all of his mana, that's kind of good for us because then we can go ahead and just like have lethal this round with Mystic plus get excited. Otherwise we could take it safe, play Deep Meditation, try to make the Vi work next round. Which he probably will then Vengeance. Uh, that's about it. So I think here I would still just Meditation probably. I don't think it's play Assembly Bot. I feel like it's just meditation. Map again, okay, and a jury rig, sure. So we can maybe play the assembly bot next turn and try to win with that as well. They endure. So he doesn't have lethal, it's just an atrocity either. I can map the investigator here and then just try to win. Uh, I don't think it's that necessary to go for lethal. I, I could be wrong, but I feel like this play is fine. Where you just like take it to the next rounds. Like I would rather make him try to use his mana to do stuff than um, then I guess allow that to be the outcome. I'm not sure if uh, that makes that much sense though. Because, like, once I see stuff like the Atrocity and the Feast here, I feel more confident in uh, the ability here to win the game, I think. Even this is, I'm not, like, too, too certain about. Because, like, just one more Feast is going to fuck this round up big time for us. But, okay, GG. I think it's just safer, I guess. That's all. I really, I really like against uh, the they who endure deck to always do that, where you, you just respond to. Is this just straight mill then? If it's a Malachi TF, It'd just be straight mill. Maybe we do this. Definitely not the best cards to keep though, uh, but we drew an assembly bot because we're good at the game. So you know, we got the best cards in the world now. So I believe his ideal gameplay uh, pan out will be, uh, you know, along the lines of utilizing cards that are going to let him just have Maokai level up as fast as possible, kind of. If I play this, I can play Sumpworks map and Rummage realistically on it. I shouldn't pass through, so I should do this. It's just a little bit weird. Because, I mean, like, Double Feast is, um, is really good, and then I'm going to have to Rummage when I don't really want to, I guess. And it also means I have to map before I play the uh, the investigator, which isn't good. So here we pass. Okay, this is better. So I would now pass here. Believe I played the investigator here. He could grasp the assembly ball, which wouldn't be good. Pill for goods is kind of okay now. Yikes. Um, 
I don't like that. So I can retreat the uh, the assembly bot now. Do the play. I get one fleeting. I don't really get to use the fleeting card though. Um, I could also map to make it a two one. I think I like map more. Use no mana. It should be better. Um, there are not limitations as long as it's not like an eighty dollar game. Um, I will play it, my friend. I will play it. Can we pass? Retreat is really awkward here. I think I actually probably will rummage. Uh, maybe even like start with Mystic Shot, I guess, is okay too. Like, I want a Meditation next round, I think. Uh, getting the Fleeting feels like it's better though, so I think I start with this. Yanks. Okay, well, I can discard that at least. It's good. Okay. That's this random zero mana card, huh? This guy's not even gonna have to Malachi us. We're just gonna mill ourselves. Dude, uh, that is gross. Okay. Sure. I feel like a retreat is better than losing a rummage here. I could be wrong though. Chirby rag. Now it's kind of weird. Like, um, I want to keep the Vi, because Vice is a strong card. I also want to play Rummage again, though. I can play Jerry Rig for one more damage. Maybe it is this pass, take the four here. It should be okay. It's not, a, it's not a great play by any means, but it's okay. Gotcha's good here. It's a good target for it too. Okay, mm another assembly bot. I don't know if that's really the move though. So you feel it's kind of like a uh, stretch here. Retreat. This guy's playing with our cards now, man. I don't like that. So we can we can say pretty safely he's gonna recall that then. Return it, sorry. Maybe discard this then. So I don't really need two assembly bots here. Mystic's good. Uh, I could also just do this. Because I'm going to get a Shadow Assassin to play. And I like to cap that off with the meditation. I think it's pretty strong. So this assembly bot's getting pretty chunky. We also have a pretty big Vi next round. Um, Vi map is kind of just a play. Vi will be leveled though, but it's technically lethal. Uh, we also just have 10 stealth damage here. Um, the one mystic as well. Could technically just map the investigator and like attack and see what he does. Could be good enough. You'd have the vengeance, really, right? That is probably just gonna be the look. GG, my friends. Let's go. Sumpworks map is good, man. We discovered that a couple weeks ago with uh, Swain Burn, and now we're revisiting it, playing Miracoli. Almost a 2k master player's looks like.
It's 1650 right now. Uh, Vi against Sedge Vlad is okay. We're on evens. Uh, this to me feels like it's probably a hard mole. I don't think Shadow Assassin is really that great in this matchup. I feel like this is one of the ones where um, the assembly bot on three really only gets answered by, I guess, this calling strike, and you can kind of play around there relatively easily. So I'd rather look for something like that, I think, than um, go to my way to uh, to really uh, you know develop the Shadow Assassin. I mean, she really doesn't do that much. I think uh, because of the attunement, I have the dragon's fine here. Nothing really to say other than that. Just an okay, um, okay card to have pop off here. Uh, GG's Junk Brush, man. GG's. Yeah, it's definitely a wacky deck, man. Not one that's, uh, you know, you see, you see a lot of stuff that you're used to seeing for sure. I'm just let this sit for three here. It's fine. Play the Shadow Assassin now. I, uh, I don't know how I feel about Investigator plus Trail for next round, though. It's a little bit off, I think. Could also play, uh, the Bond. I guess Transfusion, okay, instead. That's fine. Goodbye, I have the dragon, you'll be missed. Uh, not that the dragon links are gonna be really that good this game anyways, but that's okay. To see her departure there. So we're we just gonna play Vi next rounds. Okay, probably just open. Get her two in. Go from there. Uh, I can mystic that I guess because he doesn't have mana now. Could like Elixir of Iron still, I guess. There's just so much stuff he can do with that that's so annoying. Uh, I wouldn't really want to play Investigator, though. Also be out of spell mana. Um, the thing is, like, Transfusion is a problem next round as well. I, I guess this card in general is sort of just a problem. There's not much more to say than that. That's um, the, the Disciple's just kind of an issue. So I guess we're going to do this first, because, I mean, the fleeting, the fleeting card is never going to be really that good for us. So do that, um, and I, I guess let's play the Investigator now. Um, it, it might not even be Vi, just because we do really want to block this and not take the 5 here. We treat the Shadow Assassin is really good for us, I guess, so we should do that inside, yeah. For when he attacks. Uh, we'll also draw a card, I can value block this, even the Transfusion can happen to kill the Investigator. Problem with Vine next one is Sedge as well, right? That can also happen, so it's not even that great of a look. I think uh, it's going to be the pass, though. So. Trying to do control deck with Maokai. I figured you were going to be playing some form of a mill list. So we do that. Um, whatever makes sense to just play the Jerry Rig here as well. Kind of leads us to wanting to, um, to play the Deep Meditation next round, though. But uh, I don't think I just leave the Hawk up. To hit us, we go to 10. I also don't think this block is good, so I might actually lean towards liking this play. Uh, we do have a lot of things to cost three in the deck, though, so... Maybe we do just take the two damage, go from there. Will, okay, Fleeting Will is not that great. I feel like playing the Jury Rig is kind of bad as well, because I mean, we do just have three rummages in this list. Could be Assassin and another Vi, sure, pass. Pass again. So the Vi is very close to leveling here. Uh, in fact, we play Vi, Deep Meditation. That'll be all of our mana, so I actually can't Deep Meditation, but I can Vi, Trail of Evidence, and that'll work actually to level here. So maybe start with this then, just in case we hit something we want to play inside. Rummage, sure. Um, and Intrepid Mariner. I can give the Vi elusive this round if we want. That is interesting. Uh, the, actually, yeah, no, you, you're right about not playing Vi, yeah, you're right. I should have started with the, uh, the Marina for sure, yeah, because of Sejuani, right? Um, uh, I was gonna say there's not too much this faction can do, but, uh, it would basically just be Sejuani, you're right. That would be, uh, the reason to not play her for sure. That's my bad. Definitely a misplay. Uh, no doubt there. That that is, in fact, wrong. That is just so funny, though. Uh, I don't think rummaging first really matters too much. We just do that, put him to four. Vi is leveled. So whenever she strikes, right? So um, when I when I block... Oh, no, sorry. It's only, I'm stupid. It's only one attack. My bad. I'm dumb. I will shut up now. Yeah, I will shut up now. 
So, I think I get rid of, uh, probably not the Vi, actually. It's probably going to be the the Investigator that's rummage in the Jury Rig here. Eddie, you okay? I think that'll just be the luck. Pass. Hello, assembly bots. Sure. It's just a good will target for us. It's not too much more than that. Uh, so we can hit the will button there. Depends on how he attacks, I guess. Uh, he technically does not kill the Vi right now anyways, though. So it's not uh, actually like the biggest deal in the entire world. Exactly how we do that. Uh, I don't think it's going to be assembly bot this round. I think we're looking at the will here and then... Maybe a mystic shot, I guess. Probably would just play this to have like another unit to block with as well. Let's probably just start with that and then say okay. Don't really want to mystic shot the uh, the Omenok yet. Just because it gives him the opportunity to um uh... I guess if he's gonna do that, that doesn't really matter then. I'd rather have that alive so then I can just like have the Vi hit it. Maybe five head runs like might or something, and can just like get me here with that. I don't blame you. Sure. I've got questions. I wonder if I even want to clear this then. I get a fleeting card. I don't really want to use the fleeting card though. The, the issue with the Vi thing is we do need Vi to survive, right? So I mean, she's going to have to live after hitting these cards to, um, to get her effect off to win the game for us. So it's just like a transfusion that would beat me here. Which makes me almost just want to keep the Shadow Assassin alive because I have like the Vault Breaker and the Mystic Shot, but I, I'm still leaning towards this line for some reason. Can Culling Strike the Vi now? I guess if you Culling Strike through really fucked because then she doesn't really connect. So Fury of the North, I mean, I never really beat that, but he has to have Sejuani in play to have Fury of the North. Double Transfusion would work as well. Uh, so it should just be that, I think, is the play. I don't think there's too much more than that. Can also rip lethal from spells here, sometimes two over two. Okay, so I have no health gain. Wait, 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 why did he surrender? She didn't live, so I wasn't going to do the 5. You have to have her live to do the 5 damage. So, um, that was actually a loss, but okay, you know what, we'll take it. Oh, you still deal with the 5 if she dies? Really? Okay, I didn't know that, my bad.